Welcome back to the Beginner Scripting Series, everybody. I hope you're excited for Episode 2. Let's not waste any time. Uh, however, last year I did a comment question after each, or at the beginning of each video, and I kind of want to bring that back. So comment question for today, what is your favorite movie of all time? Comment below, I want to hear from you guys. Other than that, let's get right into this and start learning about variables. So, first of all, what are variables? Variables are kind of like boxes. They're storage containers. They, they store information for the script and the computer to know. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just dive right into it. So let's insert a script into server script service. And we can call this variables or variable script. I'll call mine that. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little better. Basically, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the print hello world. You can uh, hold down your mouse, drag over it, and hit backspace. And uh, basically, like I said, variables, you can think of them as boxes or folders or storage containers. They are, they are little boxes that store information for the computer so that later when you call for that box, it can kind of remember what you were talking about. So here, let, let me show you what I mean. So whenever you're writing a variable, you have to start with writing local. Uh, and you may be confused as to why that is. I'll, I'll try and explain that as we go. But basically, when you're going to start writing a, a variable for the first time, you got to write local. So the very first time you tell a computer what a variable is, write local before it, okay? And then after that, you name your variable. So you can give this any name you want. You can start have any text right here, as long as it doesn't start with a number like that, or as long as it doesn't contain any spaces, okay? So you can have anything you want for your variable name. And um, this is going to hold information for our computer. So uh, how do we set this? Because right now our script just knows, okay, we have this box called my variable, right? That's what it knows by uh, uh, when we write local my variable. It's like, okay, I've created a box called my variable. Now, what do you want me to put in that box? What information do you want me to store? So the way we put things in that box is by putting an equal sign and then adding whatever, uh, whatever we want in there. So maybe we want my variable to be 30 we can write this, local my variable equals to 30. So now the script knows, okay, my variable is the same thing as 30. So if I were to drop a couple lines by pressing enter, and then I hit pr uh, write print, quotation uh, parentheses, you do not need quotation marks here, you actually shouldn't have them, uh, and you write my variable, then the script will know, okay, my variable is the same thing as 30, so it'll print 30. Now, why do you not need quotation marks like uh, like we did for the strings? Well, that's because we are printing a variable. We're not printing a string. Uh, we are. If we were to do this, it would just print the text, my variable, in the output. If we go ahead and play this and we look in the output, you can see it, it's printed my variable instead of 30. Now, if you want to print an actual variable, like this one right here, my variable, you just get rid of the quotation marks and you call it, okay, like this. So the script knows, okay, whenever I write my variable ever, ever, ever again in this, in this line or this script, it just knows, hey, we're talking about this right here because we're talking about this box called my variable. Now, you can, um, you can set this variable to be whatever you want. You can set it to be 30, a number. You can set it to be true or false, right? Bools, you can set it to be that. Or you can set it to be a string, okay? You can also set it to game object, but we'll deal with that tomorrow or not tomorrow, whenever the next episode is out, because um, we're going to talk about how to change things like, in script, like changing part color. So we could like change the color of the base plate uh, if we wanted to, or we could change this color through a script. So that's the next episode. Make sure to be excited for that. So uh, you can have whatever you want as your variable. So uh, I'm going to do another little bit, or I'm going to do a little kind of like a pop quiz-ish, but kind of hopefully fun. Uh, and then we're just going to try and get this uh, drilled into your brain so that you can hopefully remember how variables work. Okay. I'm going to set my variable equal to false and have this print my variable. What do you think it's going to print? Three, two, one. One. Well, hopefully, hopefully you said false, and that's okay if you didn't. It takes a lot of time. Um, but if you look down here, we have false down in the output because the the script knows. Okay, we've just created a box. We've created a box called my variable, and we've set it equal to false. And then we're printing what that variable or that box contains. Next, I'm going to change this to be 30 plus 30. Now, what do you think my variable is going to print? Well, hopefully you said 60, and uh, again, if not, that's okay. It just takes a lot of time, but uh, here we go. In the output, it says 60, and that's because, again, we've told the computer we're creating a variable. We're calling it my variable, and we're setting it equal to whatever 30 plus 30 is, and that is 60. So you can print my variable, and it'll print 60. 
Okay, uh, and finally, we're going to have this set to happy, and this. Look at this code very carefully, and what do you think it's going to print? Well, you may be surprised, it's actually going to go ahead and print my variable right here in the output. See, it's printed my variable, and that's because we have our quotation marks. Remember, if we need to call a variable, we do not have quotation marks. If we wanted it to print our variable happy, or our variable my variable, we get rid of those quotation marks, and now it'll print happy. So hopefully that makes sense. That's basically how you do variables. Really quickly, I'm going to show you kind of why we need local. So, local my variable equals to happy. Why do we not just have my variable equals to happy? Now, the reason is because we need to define what my variable is. Whenever we are first writing what a variable is in the script, we need to include local. So, this is the first time we've ever defined or told the script what my variable is, so we need to include a local. If we already have told the script what my variable is, we can also just update it without using local. So we could say my variable equals to 30. Okay, and if we go up here, we can print my variable, and then after we changed it, print my variable. So as you can see, we have local my variable equals to happy. We're telling the script for the first time, hey, this is my variable, and it's equal to happy. Now we've printed my variable, and it should print happy into the output. Next, we change the variable by saying my variable equals to 30. Basically, we just do this, but without the local. That's how you can change or update a variable, or you can think about, about it like we're updating the box. We're taking happy out of the box, and we're putting 30 back into uh, 30 into the box. And then we can print my variable again, and it'll print 30. So if you go ahead and play your game, you should see in the output happy and then 30 right here. And that's because we printed my variable while it was happy, then we changed my variable to be 30, and we printed it again. Okay, so that is uh, variables in a nutshell. Here, I have a little challenge for you, uh, and I'm going to see if you guys can do this or not. Um, now that you're at the end of the variable video, go ahead and try this. I want you to try to make a variable, name it whatever you want, but I want you to make a variable that's, called fi uh, that's, that's equal to the number 50. Then I want you to print that variable. Then I want you to change that variable to be true. That's what it's going to be equal to, true, the boolean, okay? Um, then I want you to print it again. Next, I want you to change it to any string and print it again. So try and do that on your own uh, and see if you can challenge yourself to do that. I would really highly encourage it. Uh, other than that, if you have any questions at all, uh, you can leave a comment or better yet, join my Discord server. That's a better way to ask questions. Uh, I'll have that linked down in the description. Thank you so much to Samuel Ramsey and Snorlax for supporting me on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a future video. I uh, get excited for part three because we're talking all about properties and how we can actually change physical things in our game. So, hope you guys are excited for that. See you then. Bye, guys.